Hello and welcome. Today we're doing another question from Leak Code 75, a really good playlist if you are interview prepping. And I have the entire playlist linked down below if you do want to follow along. So what is this question? It's called maximum average subarray one. And you are given an integer array nums consisting of n elements and an integer k. Find a contiguous subarray whose length is equal to k that has the maximum average value and return this value. So example one, we have the following input and k equals four. So a contiguous subarray of size four that has the highest average. And that is achieved by this subarray over here, 12, negative five, negative six, and 50. That sums to 51. And dividing that by four, we get 12.75. Example two, we have just five and our k is one. So that average is just going to be five by itself. Now, this question is actually pretty simple, but let's take a look at example one to see exactly what we want to do. So I have my input nums over here, also the indices up top, and k equals four. Now I know I want to find subarrays of size four with the maximum average. So what I'm gonna do is just start off with a size of four. This is going to be my first subarray and continue making subarrays of that size k and just find my max sum. We don't really need to find the average every single time because whatever subarray has the max sum is also going to have the max average. So in the beginning, I'm gonna define my current sum and my max sum to both be that initial subarray of size, k. Okay. So my current sum equals my max sum, which equals the sum of nums up until index k. Now this is going to go up until not including k because it's not inclusive. So index four is not going to be included, which is exactly what we want because it's going to go from index zero to three because this is Python and it is going to be zero indexed. We go from zero, one, two to three. So right now our current sum is going to be two and our max sum is also two. It's just one plus 12 minus five minus six. It's coming from this first subarray of size k. Now we want to iterate through our input to nums. So for i in range length of nums, we want to continue making subarrays of size k. So our next subarray of size k, instead of starting from zero going to three, is going to start from one and go to four. We're still including numbers one to three. The only difference is we're now including this index over here and not including this index over here. So what we can do is just subtract what we have at this value and add what we have over here. So from our current sum, what we're gonna do is subtract what we have at index i. So nums of i, which is zero. Now, since we are subtracting one index, we no longer have a size of k, we just have these three. So instead we wanna add this index over here. And what we're adding is just i plus k, right? We have index four, but we're getting rid of index zero. So basically it becomes current sum plus equals what we have at nums of i plus k and minus what we have at nums of i. So our new current sum, what does that equal? We're adding what we have over here. So it's going to be 52 and we're getting rid of what we have at index zero. So it's going to be 51 for our current sum. And we also want to update our max sum to be the max of what we have in max sum so far and our new updated current sum. So now max sum is also going to be 51. Now we go back in our for loop and do the same thing again. We were just at index zero for i, but now we're at index one. And we wanna do the same thing again, right? To our current sum, we're gonna add what we have at i plus k. k is four, so we're adding what we have at index five. So this becomes 54. And we're removing what we have at this index over here. So 12 minus 54. So this becomes 42. And we're done updating current sum. It is now this subarray over here from index two to five. We update max sum, but no updates are needed. 51 is still higher than 42. We go back in our for loop and i is now index two. But we actually want to stop, right? We we're already at the last subarray of size k. So when do we want to stop? We want to stop at length of nums, which is six minus k. We want to stop before we hit index two, because again, it's not inclusive. So it's going to be for i in range length of nums minus k. We do whatever computations we need. And in the end, we just return our max sum divided by k. So what is that going to be? It's going to be 51 divided by four. We know that's going to be 12.75 and that is what we return. So let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. Now talking about space and time complexity for our solution, we go through every single number in our input nums one. So this is going to be O of N if there are N elements in our input nums. 
And for space, the only thing we're keeping track of is current sum and max sum. It has nothing to do with how big our input gets. So this is going to be constant O of one. It has no correlation to N if N is the number of elements in our input. Now we just did a complete walkthrough with example one over here with our code. But if you have any questions whatsoever, of course, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.